Hi everyone, quick video here on the VW California Ocean Parking Heater. There's a few ways you can activate it. To get the screen lit, press that circle, knob there, and then this one controls the heater. If you press that, then what you can do, you can select your level from here. So you got from one all the way to 10. So now if I select, if I selected a desired heat, say four, press this, then the heat is going to start. Okay. Yeah, I've got an option to program it. So what you can do, if you press this here, so you select auxiliary heater, then click program, then new, then today's date, which is Tuesday. You can have individual days or you can have it set to daily so we'll select here Tuesday um, 1907 so we want it coming out this year on time so 1900 hours yeah and then your minutes we'll put that to eight which is one minute from now and then you want it coming on for your desired length of time we'll just have it on for 15 minutes and then your temperature four is plenty so that's uh, one program there you can do another program for another day so you can have extra ones so you can have Wednesday or Monday any day you can do individual times and periods so if you select on Wednesday there you go the heat has just come on the lights just popped up there you know, the indicator on the top left hand corner that also tells you the heat is on the same as this light here now if you want to delete these um, events that you've set up if you just click on them you can either change the event or you can delete the event so delete yes another one there so click, click on that delete yes and the most you can have is well, you can have up to two hours or it says permanent operation so you can have it coming on on that day and time a uh, date or sorry day and time and then you can have the permanent operation or an hour or one hour or 15 minutes so hope that helps so this is the parking heater here now you can sort of feel it blowing out of there now. Sounds a bit like a jet engine. I'll let you have a little, little listen to it. But that's only initial warm up. Generally, it doesn't stay like that. It doesn't stay noisy like that. I can hear the noise now. So it's starting. Now it's advisable that you don't have this door open when you've got the heater on because it, the exhaust fumes of the heater come from underneath there somewhere and you can't smell it, smell the exhaust fumes when the door's open. When the door's closed you don't get no smell, nothing. So it's just blowing out air, it's just a air temperature now. probably hear that underneath there. Yeah, okay. started warming up now. Can you hear that? That's the heater blowing on. You can just hear it underneath. And that's how the van, once you're in the van, Close the door. You can't hear the outside part, you just hear the fan blowing on the inside. But once it gets up to temperature, this, the fan speed slows down. So, as you can see, the parking heater, once it's got up to temperature, 
Uh, the fans are slowly moving around, but it's only drawing 0 0.4 amp. The parking heater is fantastic. It runs off the uh, diesel and the battery. You don't need your keys in the ignition. You can leave it up running through the night. We don't turn it off. It must run off um, the thermostat within the van. So we just leave it generally, leave it on throughout the night. To turn the parking heater off, just click this button here. Or you can go into the settings here. Select auxiliary heater. And then select the switch off. If there's anything I haven't covered on that, just let me know in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. See you.